Hello and welcome to the next evolution of the M37. All right. <clears throat> Yesterday's video, axles are secured underneath the chassis and the frame. And now I'm working on taking apart all the brake components. I'm gonna get the hubs off and, uh, you know, clean the bearings, inspect them, place the seals, uh, take off the front backing plates here, um, get that cleaned, painted, new mess, all that stuff. I don't need to explain it to you, but I'll tell you what, man, it just really chaps my ass when I see people do this kind of thing to to the uh, spindle nuts, okay? And uh, they take a chisel to them and they beat them into place. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and that's how they do it. Also, the inner one was also, you can't see it with all the grease and funk on it, but it also has some chisel marks on it. And, you know, you're kinda, you're kinda setting these hubs in there by feel. You don't want any play in them, but you don't want them to be over tight either. And uh, I just don't get it. So, you know, look, spend the 25 bucks and get a socket so you can assemble and disassemble these things properly without beating the crap out of your equipment. All right? And, you know, there could have been a field unit in the military that did that and did what they had to do. But in Watson's shop, I got to have the right tools. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this front hub off on camera and see what happens. All right. Just be careful. Don't drop these freaking bearings. All right. And uh, hopefully the... Uh, Snap ring is in place. It is. Okay, good. You'll notice on the inner seal, there's a snap ring there holding that in. Uh, good deal. All right, spindle looks nice. Let's give it a quick wipe down and uh, let you take a peek at it. I did get all new seals for this stuff too. Doesn't look too bad. All right, nice floating little guy there. see I don't feel any ridges for where the seal rides that's good but you can definitely tell where the seal rides because it's marked all right not too chubby all right which size is that that is three quarter inch around there tight. Wonder what the torque spec is. Or, you know, get those loose, we'll spin them off by hand. That one's good. Okay. Coarse thread. So far, everything on this truck has been fine thread, you know what I mean?
I'm assuming this plate is by itself. I can see a lip there. So we'll see what happens. And all of them. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Backing plate. All right. Does that look normal to you? I don't know. Bushing. This stuff didn't come apart that easy in the willies, I can tell you that. I've never seen that kind of knuckle before. Well, let's get it clean, take a peek at it. Yeah, mud. All right. This outer bearing doesn't look too bad. All right, we got our bushing. <clears throat> okay, here's the knuckle that we took out. Surfaces actually look pretty decent. Throw that around. And there's where the bush rides. A little sloppy though. How tight should that be? Okay. I guess you want to call that a hub, hub flange or whatever. That's the inner hub nut. Notice it has the, uh, the pin on it. And it does have some chisel marks on it. The pin is for this lock. Okay, so whatever position you get it in, uh, this will slide over the groove on the uh, spindle um, and just lock this dude down. And then your outer one goes in, tightens up against that. All right, keep this thing from moving. This is the one that's all beat to hell. So what I'll do is I'll probably grind off some of these high spots and reuse it. Okay, spindle. <clears throat> Not too shabby. I mean, it is a 1952 hub. So getting the grease out of it, I don't see any damage except for the inner seal. And you wonder why there's uh, grease all over the damn place. All right, we got a lock ring in here. Um, you can just get a flat tip and Give it a little pry and work it right on out of there. Okay, that's still in good shape. Then you should be able to get the seal out and I don't know if I can do that without damaging it. But this has the old, I can't tell if that's leather. That looks like leather. But I'm gonna have to work on getting the seal out of here and then we'll pull the bearing out. All right, uh, this seal is giving me a problem. We got the uh, snap ring out. Um, basically had to pulverize one side of it with a cold chisel. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of using this prying tool and going around from the point that I did the chisel, you know, what I cut into it, and just trying to pop it loose. So it's starting to move, so I didn't want to spare you guys a bunch of should be doing this on a more solid table, obviously, but you know, I don't like to do things the easy way. That's 
where I busted into it. That's the original damage that we uncovered. All right. Inner bearing. We'll go ahead and clean and inspect. Double check the races and uh, go from there. All right, folks. You see me take the thing apart. I'm dying. It's freaking hot out here, man. I don't care what anybody says. But progress is progress regardless of where you make it. So stay tuned. Take it easy. Bye.